Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And a new prankster just dropped. Um, I thought prank content was dead, but then that guy who in the UK who just kept getting arrested <laughs> came around and I didn't talk about him because he stressed me out. But then someone just tagged me in this tweet, this awful man and his pranks. And I saw a few clips. So his name is Kyle Johnson, no relation. He's got some popular shorts. He's got 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Hello there, my name is Kyle Johnson. Welcome to my channel. I love to prank people and have fun. I love you all. Stay positive. I don't love pranks. I don't love pranks. I feel consent is such a big part of the world and making someone a part of your game, your content, your fun at the expense of their own. I just don't think it's cool. I just don't think it's cool. If you're pranking a very good friend and you know they're cool with it, that's whatever. But when you're pranking random people and you're making videos called male Karen rages at me for being stuck. That's where I draw the line, I think. I need help, help! Hey, why are you up there? I was just climbing. Why are you climbing? I don't know, can you help me? I know, I'm such an idiot. Oh, so y'all doing this for YouTube? Bro, that's wild, bro. Nah, I'm about to call the cops, bro. No, dude. So first of all, this guy's just doing his job. Never annoy someone who's doing their job. For, that's just like, it's rule number one of content. Don't bother real people doing their job. The other thing, this guy, I think was a class act. He did everything right. He said, hey man, I know you've been up to some nonsense because you're not supposed to be up there. How did you get up there? Okay, you were climbing. Why were you doing that? Kyle here was like, can you help me? And then he was going to help him. And then he saw the camera and he said, I know what this is. He called it. He took one look at the camera. He's like, oh, this is for YouTube. Okay. Well, it's no longer my problem. <laughs> um, I'm going to go about my business and do my job, which is not being a unwilling participant in your content. He handled that so smooth and then titling this, calling him a Karen, pisses me off because the origin of Karens is like putting black people in danger by calling the police. <laughs> Actually, you're the Karen, Kyle. And even if this is fake, it feels like it encourages people to do dumb shit and bother people who are just doing their job, which I don't like. It seems like this dude's whole vibe is doing annoying stuff in public. What's up guys, we got the new Grimace shake. Happy birthday, Grimace. You're not supposed to be feeling here. No one's freaking out. Everyone is just calmly saying, can you leave me alone while I'm doing my job? I don't get paid enough to deal with you. Like the way I know this is not fake is because McDonald's is not gonna give him a filming permit to do this video. This is maybe the worst Grimace Shake video I've seen. Do better. But before we get into that, let's talk about something that is absolutely not a prank. Today's sponsor, AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutritional supplement that supports whole body health. AG1 is made up of 75 high quality ingredients carefully curated to nourish all the body systems holistically. Through a science-driven formulation of micronutrients, phytonutrients, and essential symbiotics, AG1 supports the brain, the gut, and the immune system. AG1 is an effortless daily habit. Add it to your morning routine to start each day on the right foot. It also contains vitamins that support sustained energy throughout the day without the crash that you get from coffee. I've been keeping an eye on my health lately and I like that AG1 has the ingredients to support my metabolism and mental clarity and keep me alert throughout the day, which I need. Head on over to drinkag1.com slash Jarvis, that's my name, to get started on your first order. And AG1 is gonna give my community a free one year supply of their AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now back to the pranks. So that first video is from this full length video getting stuck in random places. Let's see. Kid, are you being serious? Help, I'm stuck. It's so funny because I don't know what reaction he expects, but everyone is so calm because we as a society are now aware that people do dumb shit in public for content. So, so the man, this man's first reaction is, kid, are you being serious? I wouldn't try to hurt him because you're not being can someone grab my foot? The reason this is a tricky thing is because they can't just grab him and pull him out and call his bluff because if he is really stuck, then they would be liable, right? So the thing they have to do is just like call 
an ambulance and that takes away from it's blocking real help from being done because he's clearly not harmed but it's such a self-owned to include no one giving a shit about his prank like it's just not working and there's so much dead air and people clearly looking at the camera that's filming him that guy's not stuck he's filming oh, okay get out of here <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, kind Samaritan, who just said, hey, he's doing a, a dumb YouTube prank. Oh, never mind. Get out of here, kid. Look like idiots. Can you get out the store? Yeah, can you push me out of the store? Hey, watch, you stop recording. Can you try out of the store? What blows my mind is how much patience everyone treats him with. He does not deserve any of that. Okay, listen. Maybe... <sighs> Call me old fashioned, but I think society functions on the goodwill of strangers in a lot of ways. People who ruin that goodwill or take advantage of that goodwill are people like this. These are all well-meaning people. Why are you wasting their time? I don't understand what the fuck you're recording. Just get off the floor. Bro. <laughs> Yo, she hit the camera and pushed me. She, oh, relax. She hit the camera and pushed me. You left in the footage. Oh. Oh, such a hard push. So hard there wasn't even fucking motion blur on the footage. Relax. That's a Karen move to be like, she pushed me. Come on, dude. Bro, we could calculate the speed, the force that she pushed you from the way the camera's moving here. Holy shit. All you guys are just standing here not helping me. Can you guys leave our store now? He's not dropping the bit, which is like embarrassing. I haven't seen any of Gideon's pranks, but I, I assume they have to be better than this. Didn't he do the like getting his hair cut at the NBA game thing? Like, that's funny, right? That doesn't harm anybody, uh, but it's a funny spectacle. It's captured on television. There's a huge, like, there's a lot going into that. Hi, it's Editing Jarvis. As I'm reviewing this video, Gideon just did, uh, just got banned from the NBA for pretending to sleep in a WNBA game. Even when pranks are harmless, they, people get too confident and then they do something dumb. So, no pranks. What is this? What is this? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn, well, thank you, you're so nice. Yo, 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 do not, ca I'm, I feel like a dad right now. Don't catch Tude with this worker. Oh, you're so nice. Bro, look at yourself in the mirror. Look at what you are doing. <laughs> she has any right to say, I hope you get some views on this because you wasted everybody's time. She should pull up his YouTube channel and be like, huh, 55,000 views. You are making way too much a fool of yourself for the amount of AdSense you're getting from this. <laughs> I'm part of the white boy TikToker. You know Bryce Hall? I'm him. Y'all are really you impressed with that. that guy, bro. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Dude, he's getting destroyed by the Home Depot like workers, man. This is so funny. What? He, they just said, you're not that guy, dude. You're not him, man. This is always the case of these dudes. They have no sense of embarrassment. You didn't think that was funny? I saw you recording. Oh, yeah. Must've thought it was funny, oh, put it on your Snapchat. Oh you, yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> you must have thought I was funny if you were filming me. No, we were making fun of you. There's a difference. We were all just roasting you for how dumb your behavior is. So, so you just said it was funny. Oh, they were just roasting you because the comments they were making was funny. Oh. Like, what, an idiot. Like, oh. what comments? You, you think I'm live right now? I don't know. Yeah, clearly you don't know. Yeah, don't what? Know. It doesn't matter. You think I'm live right now? Clearly you don't know. You don't know anything about what I do. What does it matter? He, he's telling you, I am broken right now. He's trying to like win back some of his uh, dignity by being like, you don't even get it, man. You don't even get what my, the art that I'm doing, bro. Hey, where'd you put my shopping cart? Like I make money the right way, bro. He's saying, I don't make money like this. I make money the, the, the right way. Um, he's saying, I'm doing a real job. So, sucks. I do make money off this, so. Uh, no. Wish you could be me, but fuck it. You think I care? You think I care about Home Depot? Dude, he's so hurt. I don't understand how you can be so hurt and so insecure after doing one of these pranks. I'm like genuinely confused. Like, why do you think you're entitled to them being nice to you? No one cares about your stupid prank. Hey, Evan, where's the bag? I don't know. They, dude, someone hit the camera out and they pushed me and then they took the car. Dude, this is 
Oh my God, dude, someone, they pushed me. We saw, you left the footage in, dude. This is Karen behavior. I'm still mad they called that other guy a Karen. No, I need my bag. I'll give it back to you if I find it, yeah. No, where is but it? I need to turn up. No, where is it? That's what I'm saying. Where's the bag? Okay. Oh, oh, when he's at the butt of the prank, he's not so confident. Huh, interesting. It looks like when the roles are reversed, he's not so cool. And he's not a willing participant in this behavior. Huh, interesting. Well, my man Noel, dude, why are you doing this? Can you read? I, oh, we never watch this. No. You he thinks he's slick with these uh, roasts. He is. This man is like literally just doing his day job and he's better at this than you are. What are you doing? Why are you, why are you trying to say I'm stupid? I don't know how to say your name. What up, Noel? Why are you trying to say I'm stupid? Because you can't read. Does it look like it says Noel? All right, you guys did take I my shit. Literally on camera. Dude, wait, this is, this, okay. Maybe this is just a big reverse, reverse prank, but he is so like losing his cool right now. This is wild. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, dude. He's so entitled. He's like, I should be able to walk into your place of work, film, Everybody's supposed to play along with my prank, leave, everyone's nice to me, they applaud. You're not supposed to take my bag, dude. That's uncool. That's over the line, dude. Six, seven cars and a y'all on E, bitch on E, give it. So now he's misspelling his name on purpose, right? And I just think that's rude, but whatever. Dude, he's so pathetic. Wow, I hope he's a kid. <laughs> hey, yo, he pressed his fuck. What do you, hey, yo, he pressed his fuck. Flashback, bro, it's not cool. You've got to give me back my bag. It's not, it's not fair. Bro, he pressed his foot. No, come back here. You didn't help me, dude. I was stuck up there. Come on, man. Leave him alone. What is your problem, dude? Thanks for all that you do. Your videos give me motivation. You're such an amazing person and your videos help me through hard times. So proud of you. I love you from user IXLXCX19C. These have to be fake. Hey, I get down. I've been stuck up here for three days. Be, get funnier, get funnier. Make make funnier jokes if you're gonna do this shit. Earn it, man. Evan got caught and they were bringing him to the office to trespass him. I caught up to him the last second. I'm not able to record you. I mean, we could just either go or we could keep recording. I don't really. You're not gonna change my mind on recording. So should we just walk out or? You're not gonna change my mind on recording? Where are the parents, man? Who gave him the the audacity to behave like this? I don't care about getting trespassed. I could just walk out. I won't come back again. You will come back again. You say you look and this is the second time you're at Home Depot. And it's the third Home Depot prank. Uh, D. D. Snuts. Ah, Fuck bitches, get money. Come give me some. Dude, this is the most Mmm. It's the most annoying flavor of white boy. I can't watch any more of this. I love how kind Kyle is to everyone. He literally saved my life. What? Well, I'm sorry about this. Bye.